opportunities to show you the seven day forecast. A reminder, you can get that at cake.com mm -hmm. also on our weather app uh, or our news app as well. Get it there if you didn't get to see it this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of a busy morning with so much going yes. on. And a flight Everything. going out of Wichita to Denver was delayed this morning because of the weather in Denver. Yeah. So make sure you check your flights before oh, you yeah. head out. Yeah, if, if there's any more headed to Denver, they may be canceled, canceled or delayed as well. Okay, absolutely. And your school closings are at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. We'll keep updating those. We have about a dozen now mm -hmm. schools closed. Well, we are on your side now with a consumer alert. A lot of people will be in a giving mood over the next few weeks, even giving to charity. And some will do it for a tax deduction. But how how can you be sure the charity will use your donation wisely? Mm -hmm. We are asking about safe giving live this morning. And joining us from Los Angeles is Thomas Tide, who heads the nonprofit medical group Direct Relief. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jamel. Tell us a little bit, you know, because we are bombarded with uh, different mm -hmm. charities wanting us to donate during the holiday season. How do we know if they are legit? Well, I think. Um, the, the best thing to do is just check out. I think that thankfully there are now independent uh, organizations like Charity Navigator who do this for the benefit of consumers so they can, they can do the review and make sure that all the filings are in order, that the financial records have been reviewed, and really make it easier for consumers to understand. Um, it's always important to do that, particularly as folks this time of year are encouraged to do whatever they can, which is an important good thing, but also to be careful that they're doing it uh, and their money will go to the cause as they intend. Now, what is a good percentage of, we all know that charities have overhead, but what percentage should people be asking that actually gets donated to those causes? Yeah, you know, there's not. I think there's not a, a real rule of thumb. I think it, it's um, you. I think no one wants all of their money spent on fundraising or on administration. Unfortunately, some money does have to be spent on fundraising administration for the programs to go. So, I think Direct Relief has the. You know, we're an outlier. We're 100% efficient because uh, our fundraising is not paid for by any donor contributions, for example, but by a bequest that we received. That's unusual. So mm -hmm. I think things that get into clearly more than 25 or 35 percent for fundraising alone, that's a bit of a warning flag. And I think these charity rating groups uh, actually look at that. You know, it's not always bad. I think it's just something to signal how much of your money that you contribute is going to be spent on what. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, you want it to be spent for the cause. And that's uh, the benefit of being able mm -hmm. to compare, you know, the ratings that these groups do. Really, it's just based on their expenditures, their public reported finances. It doesn't tell the full story, but it tells a, an important part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we could talk to you longer if we could, but thank you so much for joining us this mm -hmm. morning. <laughs> and people need to look out for the red flags and make sure yeah. it's not a scam. Do their research. Have a great morning. Thank you. If we didn't have all this weather going on, we'd thank talk to you a little bit longer. <laughs>